Hey guys, what is going on? We are back with another Madden Ultimate Team video and I'm hoping we're able to get great gameplay for you guys today. We've been on a win streak. We're starting the new season. We're 4-0 so far, so I'm hoping we can get a really good game for you guys. I want to show you guys the team. We've made some improvements. To start at left tackle, we got Jimbo Covert, 89 overall. We want to get some more train to upgrade him to get him to that 90 overall. That's going to come. We'll get there. Uh, the next big one is we were also able to get Heath Miller at tight end. Steelers theme diamond, great for the chemistry. And in case you guys didn't know, we're actually able to get our Steelers chemistry 32 out of 35. So it's really helping for uh, Eddie George and Jerome Bass, especially being our main Steelers players. Um, these guys have insane stats now. Eddie George is 87 speed and Jerome is 86. And uh, Eddie George has 91 trucking, I believe. Well, Jerome has 93 trucking with 93 break tackle. Like they are both goons for the squad and over on defense we've made a couple of upgrades uh we've got rod woodson of our level 50 full legend fantasy pack absolutely incredible pull so happy with that one so we had to power him up throw the one step ahead ability on him so it'd be better in man coverage and we throw the shutdown x factor also over at strong safety we got adrian wilson fully powered up theme diamond he's an absolute goon for the pass and run game he's a really physical safety so i added him a bit late to the squad but i'm really happy we got him now and uh, that's really it, guys. Uh, the big, another big one, actually, is uh, Morton Anderson over on special teams. We were able to get his full legend for a kicker, and we got the focus kicker ability on him, so it's a lot slower uh, kick meter. So it should be really good. Like I said, we're 4-0 uh, and on the season. We're in the MVP division. I don't know why I actually learned this the other day, but it's better to be in the MVP division than the legend division because if you get eight wins, you get a touchdown pack. Well, in the legend, you don't, and that's 50K, so... Really, if you guys get the promotion to legend, just quit four games, demote yourself, go back down to MVP, and you'll make 50 more K. Like, I, I, it made no sense. I don't understand. EA has to fix that. But uh, let's get into it to you guys. <laughs> Alright, you're playing NBA King here, and he does not have the most impressive looking team. Sometimes the top three has been a little weird this year, but uh, I don't know. Given that that's his PSN name, this guy seems more of like a 2K player, so I don't know if he's really into Madden, but still going to play him competitively. Um, take every opponent seriously. That's what Floyd Mayweather says, and that's how he's undefeated. He always said, take every opponent seriously. Don't cheat anyone lightly, because that's how you lose. So... We get the ball first. Jock him out really serious here, boys. Oh, we're actually able to get a pretty good return here with Mark playing fine upfield. Alrighty, we're going to go fullback dive here on the first player, as some of you may call it indie right. But uh, I'm hoping we can get good blocks at the A gap here. We're able to get great blocking up the middle. Larry Allen and our center, Jason Kelsey, both securing their blocks. Eddie George fighting for that first down. That's that big trucking and big break tackle. He's an absolute monster for us. It's like, honestly, this backfield, Lamar Jackson, Jerome Bettis, and Eddie George, like, these two running backs are just absolute bulls, you guys. Like, highly recommend uh, power backs in this offense. I used to think speed was the key, but if you're able to just sit there and pound up the middle for a few yards at a time, like that eight-yard carry, you'll be able to dominate people, I'm telling you. Here we're going to go with the halfback power G. We can go up the middle. Hopefully we can spring us outside to surprise him here. Eddie George breaking a big tackle there in his user. Able to fight for big yards. Uh, that was really good. I think he ran up the middle. So that was a really good blocking and great break and broken tackle by Eddie George. Again, he's just sticking a nickel defense. I hate these people. They may complain that you run the ball or that I run the ball. But you know what? It's like if you're going to stick in a nickel defense, I'm going to run the ball. Like get out of this defense. We're going to go with the read option with Lamar here. We're able to keep it. Great blocking all in the interior and able to hold contain the outside. We're going to slide, keep that clock running. And see, guys, we're already killing clock. We're going to get to the end of the first quarter before this drive is done. Uh, this, has been, this has been a really good drive so far. We've only shown two formations, and we've killed so much clock. We've showed a lot of dominance on the line of scrimmage, too. I'm really happy with this drive. 
Jerome Bettis just fighting. And look at our lineman just getting upfield and pushing the pile. Why not put someone in that A gap? You you know what play is coming. We know what play is coming. You guys know what play is coming, but he doesn't put anyone in the A gap, so. Right, this guy's coming down three tight ends. Um I'm hoping this isn't gonna be a stretch show like most people are. Oh god, here we go. This guy might think we're still in Madden 20. He had like a year and a half of playing stretch and dive. We're just going to bring everyone down to the box. Make him think there could be pressure on play action here. We're guarding over the middle. Oh, good on him on the check down there. Good read. Uh, guys, take the check downs this year if they're open. Uh, with zones the way they are, you have to make their, your opponent respect the flats. Make them do it. Uh, it can be seen as really annoying, but it's smart football. That's how it has to be played. So good on him on that read. So here we actually are going to play in the flats. We're going to be in clouds. So our guys are set to about five yards. So hopefully he doesn't hit us over the top of something big here. I see. I know he wants to go to that corner out. But he wanted to go to that corner out there on the left side. But our corner was able to play really good on it for a while. And by the time our corner left it to play his deep route, the pressure had already got there. So really good defense on our guys. Really happy with that. Oh, I over pursued on the stretch there. I'm gonna man up his tight end earth here because usually on this uh, the single back wing here, people love to hit their tight end. So I'm gonna wait for something there. I can already see he wants to go there. And that's Adrian Wilson in the hard flat making a great tackle. That's why you get Adrian Wilson securing the tackle there. Fourth and six, pump me my ball. Okay, this guy's actually gonna go for it here. So we're gonna play straight up man coverage on him. I don't know if he's gonna expect this one, but hopefully this is able to hold. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything open. And the pressure is able to get there. Great play by our defense. And now we're able to put the ball back on his 32-yard line and hopefully punch this in for another score. Okay, starting to come out on a 3-4 defense. So it looks like he's starting to respect the ball. And he's spraying the line. Why? You... Okay, Larry Allen is going to go straight to his backer on a free release. What? Okay. What an idiot! And no one blocks safety. Alrighty. I mean, if that's the defense, then that's the defense. Okay, spread the line somehow. Alrighty, we're gonna go halfback power G here, see if that works a bit better. Suck him up the middle and then boom. Hit him on the power and wow, not even great blocking there. Alrighty guys, you might question me as a passer here uh, since I normally run, but no better time to test it out than the present. So, hopefully we can hit Mark Lane on the deep route here. But we're able to secure the edge. George Kittle's wide open the flat, but we're gonna get Mark Lane if we can hit the throw. Look at that dot to Mark Klain. Jerome Best able to find the end zone again. I don't know why he's spraying his line. The fullback dive is going to kill him every time. And there he goes, guys. You know what? If he quits here... Alrighty, guys. He quit. We're going to get into a second game. This guy's coming out here and... Uh, Three tight ends, too. He's got uh, some kind of Bo Jackson in the backfield. So we know he wants to just feed that Bo Jackson. So... Fortunately, I'm going to be looking at another stretch and dive game here, boys. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting this. He's actually come out and gun split close. I was not ready for that. So, if we can survive this play, we're going to go into a big nickel afterwards. But, because gun split close isn't that hard to shut down this year, given how it looks. But, oh, he's going to beat us with linebacks or two slow these are. We're actually able to force the ball there out of his hands with Asante Samuel with the click on. Hoping he can stop here, and we get a big sack from Aaron Donald at a D tackle there at a B Donald. Alrighty, you boys know the drill. It looks like he's going to be in a man blitz here, but still, he's got no one in the A gap. He's actually switched, and I think it would be a cover three. But Jerome Bettis on the opening play, of course, going with the fullback dive, and Jerome fighting for a first down on the first play of the game. All right, here he's switching up into a 3-4 defense. So we're going to try the power G, see if we can get good blocking here. We actually got stuck in our lineman. There was a bit of a hole there, but it got clogged right up immediately. We're going to stick with that same defense. So we're going to go to the counter to the left. I'm going to motion out Heath Miller here to take his corner away so he doesn't think about run committing. He's actually tightened up the offense. We're going to stick with the counter, see how it looks. And he actually still did run commit. Wow. Third and 12 here. He's still sticking in this uh, big nickel defense he's got. So we're going to go to the same... Uh, classic pass play with uh, Mark Klain here, hoping to hit him on the deep route. He's holding contain, so we're not going to have long. I think he got a pass interference. Holy, pick that. Oh, my God. I think he got a pass interference call there. Oh, yes, he did. He bumped my receiver. It's, I don't, like, I didn't necessarily agree with that call because I actually saw him. I didn't think he really bumped him, but they've increased those calls so much this year. 
I don't think he should have picked that there, though, because if you saw, I was trying to throw the hitch there, guys. That was like 12 yards upfield, and that guy was right down the last scrimmage. I don't think there's any way he should have been able to pick that, in all honesty. Or, he's screaming down with everyone in the box. This is really good defense on him so far. I'll watch how I run it out of this gun deuce here, see what he's going to do on defense. He's bringing everyone in. We still got a read on the option here, so we're going to run with Eddie George. And man, he's stuffing us at the line. Our boys aren't able to get big movement. This guy's playing us well on defense. Our, our offensive line isn't really uh, destroying the trenches like they normally do. I'm going to try the QB power here with Lamar. See if we're able to get some good blocking. And we didn't get anything there. That was bad. Alrighty, guys. We're going to keep things interesting. We're going to pass here. Uh, hopefully, we can hit Mark Lane on this deep route. We're going to motion him in. Keep Heath Miller as a check down or Andre Johnson underneath. But I'm hoping we're, we're going to be able to hit this here. I'm trying to hit my tight end, Heath Miller, on the possession catch on the hook. There we go. He got distracted by the underneath route and Mark Klain above. He didn't know what to cover. And because of that, we're able to hit Heath Miller there. I've always hit that curl out. People usually eventually get distracted and leave with their user with all the else that's going on. So really good read. Really good play by us. Again, this drive is going slow but decent. I mean, he's playing really good defense on us. But we're killing clock and it's going pretty good. He's going to run commit here again. Oh my god. Oh, I thought we were about to break it. Eddie George just ran right over. It's funny. I tried to bounce outside because I didn't think he'd run commit. But wow, Eddie George just ran over his defender. That was insane. We're going to try and pass it here because he's been run committing out. We got Mark playing deep. And we're hoping a lot of these breaking routes can uh, get open for us. And we get hit as we throw there. He was covering the left side of the field, so I wanted to go back to the right with Andre Johnson, but dang, his pressure is able to get there in time. That really hurts. Given how tight this game is, guys, we're actually, since we're in field range, we're just going to take our three here, try and secure some early points. Since he got the ball first, it's nice to just get some points, and he's not going to have a lot of time left to score, so if we're able to get a stop and get the ball after, right after half, I think we're going to be in really good position. We're just going to be smart and take our three here. We were already lucky enough to convert on that fourth and eight. And we already threw a pick that drive, so we're going to try and uh, skip, get away with the points we can because we've already got a little bit lucky. So hoping we can just get a stop here on defense again and play good defense. Still coming on this three time, but it's a single back wing here. So I'm, like I said, I like to uh, man up my tight, my linebacker on the X tight end there because a lot of the routes they run, that linebacker on the left side is usually able to play it really, really well because there's a lot of breaking routes to the left normally from that tight end. And it's typically the main read in this formation when you pass. So we're able to get a good stop there on that uh, stretch. Two minute warning, he's flipped his gun split post. So we're going to bring everyone down in the big nickel. Try Hopefully keep him in the box. Again, even in the gun split close here, I like to man up the tight end because it helps balance the offense and take away a lot of the reads that people like to make. And again, the tight end, it was a flood concept there, which means we're going to have one deep route, or which he's going to have is one deep route a corner route and then a low route so against zones my uh, mid defenders either got to play that corner or the low route and because I made up the tight end it takes away both because I take away the low route in zone and man up that tight end take away the high route so now we got him in a big stand here we're gonna do the same exact defense hopefully the pressure can get there and uh, we'll see if he can make any adjustments on it so far and get over. We're able to get a big lurk with Tremaine, Trail Edmonds, and I think we're going to be able to six this. Yes, we are, right before the half. That's why you take your three, guys. Don't play too greedy because we're able to get a big play on defense, pick six it, two-score game, and we get ball after half. So I hope you guys are really enjoying this game. We're trying here, um, trying to keep it entertaining for you guys. But 10-0 uh, lead going into half, really happy with that. Already now we got Terrell Edmonds' X-Factor active, which is shut down. So hopefully we can have the same thing happen here. Um, so he's got time to score, put a drive together, but if we get stopped, we've also, we've also have time to uh, get a score because we got timeouts ready. So, oh, we got to be able to tackle Bo in the open field here. That was bad on me. I shouldn't have played that crossing route. I should have just stuck with Bo. That was really bad on me, but good play call on him. I don't know what he's trying to see here. He's just going to take his underneath route, and we're going to get a good tackle in the open field. That's all I want there. He's going to switch up his formations here. We haven't seen... This is a... Uh, oh, gun is close. Yeah, we're going to play the Bo Jackson here. And again, he's going to take the underneath route. Good read on him. We're actually going to try a bit of man coverage here, guys. We're going to switch it up on him. Uh, I'm going to go in zone with my uh, user linebacker on Trail Edmonds. Oh, I got stuck on the D-line. We're trying to get in there with Aaron Donald. And he's able to get open. I got stuck off my user. That is horrible.
We're going to play the flats here against this uh, offense. He's going to want to look for Bo Jackson, I know, here. We're going to play underneath, and we get an attack. We are completely bagging this kid, and we are on our user. We have an absolute box on this kid. We know exactly what he wants to do. You're not running the ball. You're going to have to settle for three here, man. Alrighty guys, we are starting this second half here up by three. I have a very good feeling he's gonna run commit here, but we're gonna still go with the dive anyway. See what he's saying. And yeah, he is gonna run commit. I feel like we're gonna be able to bait him into that. First downs he loves to run commit, so I feel like there's a good chance we're gonna be able to bait him into that soon. Wow, we didn't get much blocking there. And we tried to juke inside with Jerome, but we end up tripping on our own feet. That really sucks. Alrighty guys, we're gonna try the boot. Oh, he's got great pressure on us there. That was a horrible play. Bad on us. We weren't able to get our adjustments off with the play clock. That was just my fault there. I'm gonna have to punt this away. There we go. Shut down that Bo Jackson. One yard carries. We'll give that up right now. You gotta see what this guy can do. We're not letting a, not even full Bo Jackson run over us. That's not gonna work. Low balls to Bo Jackson. Steve Atwater, I need you to react to the ball, man. Like, seriously, I need something. Because that's just not fair. I need you to react to the ball, please. Like, he's throwing it right at you. You're going to have to try and play that Bo Jackson self. Please, Asante Samuel. With the interception. That's what we do. Stop testing us. Find something that's open because we are bagging you, man. And here, guys, I'm sick of this run commit. We are going to test them here. I'm going to sneak Mark Klain out on the field. We're going to call our classic play action out of this. And we are going to try to kill this man right now. Put the dagger in him. Let's see what we can do. I think we were able to get him. Oh, Mark Klain. No, we threw another interception. We got hit as we threw. He didn't run commit, but he blitzed everyone. We actually had it wide open. Oh, okay. We just got to keep playing defense here, guys. We've been playing stellar defense all game. Just got to stick with it. Hopefully force another interception. That's what we've been doing. You got to stay with it now. Steve Atwater, can you please cover someone? I've manned you up on that tight end all game, and you can't cover him. Like, please. You're a safety on a tight end. Please, man. It's not that hard. It really isn't. And both my guys just tripped over each other. Come on, defense. Why are you guys playing like children? And he dots us there. No one's able to make a play on that ball. We got a tie game, boys. Alrighty, guys. We've had pretty hard this second half so far. So what we're going to try and do, honestly, is we're just going to try and get into this fourth quarter kill this clock and see if we can kick a game-winning field goal i think that's honestly going to be the move we'll take it to the fourth quarter here and that's going to be the goal Yeah, we're going to go with the QB power. We're actually going to go to the left. Motion Johnny over. See if we can get good blocking here on the outside. We're actually going to get incredible blocking now. It's just about to Lamar Jackson's speed. And we're not going to risk a hit. Take our gain there. Fall down and keep that clock going. Great, great play by us. I like that when we're able to flip the QB power. And able to just kick, get a great kick by Johnny on his outside linebacker. Great play there, boys. Okay, here he doesn't have really anyone to the right side of the field. And he's going to bring people back. So we're actually going to go with the power option here. Pitch it out to Eddie George. And look at the blocking. Perfect pitch by Lamar. And you know we're about to stunt into that end zone. That's what we do on a power option play, boys. When he wants to play the QB on the option, that's how you abuse that. When they want to go conservative in their coach adjustments, you got to find those speed option plays. Time it up just right. And look, if you get great blocking, great, great gain there by us. 
Yeah, I said before the goal is trying to get a game-winning field goal and uh, lot, not let him touch the ball again. But you know what? Uh, things change. If you get a touchdown, unless it's in like final 30 seconds, that's a little different. But take the touchdown because we can't be beat unless he decides to go for two, which I highly doubt he will at this the way he's been playing. So uh, we we know he's just gonna get for a tie here. So and I believe in my defense. This guy really has intimidated me on offense. I feel like he's just made a couple blind good reads. But we're very close to making a good play on defense. Hoping Steve Auer might be able to play someone good in man coverage here because he's usually just letting me down this whole time. But if he could make one good play, I, like it would just completely make up for it. If I could have got a big fumble there by Wilson, that would have been huge because he came out of nowhere and just smoked that running back. That wasn't even his Bo Jackson, so I don't even know. It, and Bo's not even the full Bo, so it's probably like an 88, 89 Bo. So whoever his backup is isn't too high of an overall. He's just shaking off tackles. He's taking these checkdowns, doing a good job at dinking his dunking. Okay, we're going to go man coverage here, guys. This is what uh, killed us last time and got caught off our user. So we're hoping that doesn't happen again. We're going to have to play man coverage on this. Bo Jackson. And how does he catch that? We're right there with Trey Waynes and we can't get a play. Are you kidding me? Like, come on. We're going to man up Steve Atwater, actually, on the running back. Oh, he's switching up his... He's motioning his guy over. Okay, all our assignments are good. Everyone's accounted for. I'm hoping we can actually get a good defensive play here. And look at that. He's trying to throw to his tight end again, but we're able to lock up on defense. We're going to try and play high. See, make him take a check down here. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Good read on him. That's it. We're going to make him take check downs at this point. We don't want to give up the big play because uh, he has to get in the end zone. So if he wants to get take those little dump off routes, we'll, we'll give him for now. And he's going to scramble with Mahomes. Our D-line's got to contain him there. That's just really bad on the D-line. Now we're getting a lot tighter in him. Hoping we can get a stop. But defense got to make a play here. We got to step up. Got to step up. We're actually going to play the flats here. See if that confuses him a little bit. Can get something. And I tried to come back down that slant route. But I got stuck on my own def on my other defender. That really hurts. I'm thinking he might run this with Bo Jackson. Yep, that's exactly what he's going to do. Please make a tackle, guys. Good tackle. We're able to slow down Bo. Alrighty, guys. He's going to come out here in a 3-4 defense. I'm hoping we can get the big stand here. This is the game on the line right now. we got to make a few big plays here and hold him out. This is where it all comes down to, the trenches. This is where it all matters. Everything that's happened in this game don't matter right now. It's all about this play. Come on, boys. Let's get a stop. Steve Atwater steps up finally like we needed him to and he's able to make the interception like we needed We said Steve Atwater step up and it'll make up for it and what else did I say? Anything that else that happened in the game did not matter It's about that play right there and Steve Atwater steps up for that play We're just gonna kneel it out here take the win 6-0 in the season boys absolutely excited about that We got two game plays for you guys in this one video, so I hope you enjoyed uh, please, two dubs say boys, 6 on the season. Like and subscribe below. We're even in the MVP tier. We've been grinding, upgrading the team. Please, guys, like and subscribe below for that dub, and I'll see you next time.